We are on a mission, you and us, to see one million ecclesias establishing a nation to change the spiritual climate. What is an ecclesia? Ecclesia is the Greek word for church, and it means minimum two or three people gathered together in the name of Jesus. We are the church. When Jesus said, I will build my ecclesia, my church, he wasn't talking about a building or an organization. He was talking about people. He says, I will build you and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against you. But when two or three gather together, that ecclesia has quorum to invite the presence of Jesus to pray prayers that the Father will answer, and to bind evil and release blessings. So these are the steps that you should take. Number one, realize I am the church, I am the ecclesia, and I need and I will connect with someone else so that we can invite the presence of Jesus, pray in agreement, bind evil, and release blessings. That's step number one. Step number two, dedicate your home or your bedroom, if you live, uh, you know, with other people, as the temple for that ecclesia. It's no different than a church building. The building is not the church, it's the people that come in. But now, rather than once a week, which is great, you will do it every day because the presence of Jesus will be in your house. My wife Ruth and I did it. We opened the front door, we welcomed Jesus, we anointed the door with oil, and we stay in his presence until he took over. Because he said, I am standing at the door and I knock. If anyone opens the door, and that is not the door of the human heart, that's the door of the building. That the Christian went in and never invited Jesus to come in. If you open the door, I will have supper with you. I will have time with you. Since Ruth and I did that, it has changed the spiritual climate. First, in us. Oh, we feel his presence. Second, in the house. It's all over the place. And, and issues and challenges come up because we are in ministry like you are. And brother say, okay, we'll stop to pray. Jesus is right there. We say, Jesus, what should we do? And it's so comforting. And then number three, adopt neighbors in prayer. Five to the right, five to the left, whatever configuration. And every day, practice prayer evangelism. Luke chapter 10. And speak blessings upon them. As the Lord opens the door, fellowship, if these days you cannot be physically together, a WhatsApp, a phone call, just drop a dish of food, whatever, bless them, fellowship, minister to their needs. People are lonely, people are afraid. Okay, just give them encouragement. And number four, and that is the result, the kingdom of God has come in their midst. So this is what it is. Now imagine a million of these ecclesias operating with an average of three people each. In America, that's almost 1% of the population. If all of them adopt 10 relations or neighbors, that's 10%. If God was willing to forgive Sodom and Gomorrah for 10 righteous, how much more God can do for our nation. So it's as simple then. Number one, you are the ecclesia. Connect with someone else so that you can practice Matthew 18. Number two, dedicate the place as a church building, as an ecclesia building. Anoint the door with all, open the door, welcome Jesus, and dwell in his presence until he takes over. And number three, Adopt 10 people and begin to pray. And we will change the climate. Yes, we will. Let's go for it.